My name's Brian Travis and it's my pleasure to uh, um, host you into the forum and to give you an insight into what I do. I've had 25 years experience um, in the corporate world. I had five of those years in general management roles and 20 years in uh, top jobs um, in corporates. Um, I then followed that by coming out and moving into a teaching role, which I've just phenomenally enjoyed and loved every moment of. So I bring to the forum a rare, a rare background with both practical experience and a hands-on knowledge and hopefully a good teaching style. If I was to dwell on style and cut it to five or six elements, I could probably capture it and what I've just documented on the board here. Um, first and foremost, I always attempt to find a way to relate it back to an academic. So what evidence, where's the research, where is the current status, what's the current position in terms of best practice and see if I can get access to it. Two, I always bring to that academic world my own personal experience, see if I can relate it to events or tales or you know things that went wrong or right. I'm equally comfortable in putting what I didn't do and what went wrong as I am with what went right. In fact, the biggest learning in life comes from when you make mistakes. So the knowledge sharing from a personal share point, I will deliberately attempt to put on the table things that didn't go as well as they should have and then justify and have a look and tear them apart with a view to how could I have made that right. So I do it from a personal point of view. Third thing in that uh, forum that I always attempt to do is to create a very safe working environment, ask people for absolute confidentiality. Chatham House rules apply. There will be no discussion, no disclosure about anything specific to an organisation so that we can have a safe room and open up discussion and people can put their organisation under a bit of scrutiny so that we can learn with a hands-on approach to a real thing rather than just deal with some academic um, component. Next component I always attempt to do is to find a way to see if we could have a number of workshops, preferably at least uh, two per session, so there'll be four per day, <coughs> at eight over a two day session with a view to experimentation and trialling and utilising the tools and practising. You'll never get skilled in the use of those tools, but at least you'll have an opportunity to apply them. It will open up your mindset to, boy there's an opportunity here and I should take grip it up. So the workshops to experience to utilise, to practice and to learn, to start the journey on how to use the tools in a, in a profound manner. The other thing that I think we want to do is to create a very safe forum for people to have open discussion, open dialogue and to put on the table exactly the situation that they face. And so frequently we don't have those forums that are safe in order to do that but I attempt to create an environment in which it's very safe to put on the table and utilise the team to actually tackle that issue. So it's not uncommon in a room to have people put up their own organisation but there is an absolute binding rule that no one takes away from the forum anything that they could quote about any specific organisation. And lastly, I think I attempt and have been renowned for trying to do this, is I keep an agile approach and I make sure it's adaptable. And I don't start with the premise that I've got a bunch of notes and we just need to follow it. In fact, frequently I can dispense with the notes altogether, but being agile, adaptable and be able to play around the audience, read them, acknowledge what they're seeking and devote time time and energy to it. And if that means making a few compromises, let's do so, because it's about engagement, it's about people participating, it's about how to get a delivery that focuses on their requirement, not on what I'm attempting to do. So in style, it would be about uh, the knowledge skill transfer, the opportunity for discussion and dialogue and openness in a completely safe manner, the ability to practice the skill sets associated with it and to learn how to do it and to leave the room with some confidence in the ability to execute some of the things that we have put in place. Not all, that's impossible, but to have a comfort with attempting a few things on return to the workplace. So that would be the style elements that I would put in place and attempt to do.